Hi, Mrs. Johnson's class. Hi. Today we are going to talk about multiplying mixed numbers. Do you guys know how to multiply mixed numbers? Yes. Do you guys know what factors are? Yes. What do they help us do again? Reduce. Mixed numbers are whole numbers combined with what? Fractions. fractions. Improper fractions. What's bigger on an improper fraction, the numerator or the denominator? Numerator. Everybody answer my questions? Yes. How do we convert an improper, I'm sorry, how do we convert a mix to an improper? When you're multiplying fractions, you must always multiply what by what and what by what? Can you do math with mixed numbers? No. You must always convert mixed numbers into what? Improper. Say again. Improper on the count of three, we're going to read number seven together. Everyone say together on the count of three, please. One, two, three. That was beautiful. Good job, guys. Uh, all right, so number nine. Let's look at number nine. Here's my problem. They're mixed numbers, right? Yeah. So we converted them to? Improper fractions. Can you reduce those? No. This is my answer. What do I need to do with that answer? Divide. Convert it back into a? Mixed number. Because the answers always need to be mixed numbers, right? Yes. Okay. Is it okay to reduce the fraction part of a mixed number? Yes. Is it actually smart to reduce the fraction part of a mixed number? Yes. It makes you deal with smaller numbers, right? Yes. So in this case, we did not reduce. In this yes. case, we did reduce, and we're just dealing with a little bit of an easier number, right? Yeah. Yes. How about number 11? Three ninths is reducible, yes? Yes. So now we're dealing with six and one third, which is a lot easier than six and three ninths, yes? Yes. Ultimately, improper fractions must always be converted to what again? Mixed numbers, and can you calculate, can you do math with mixed numbers, yes or no? No. Say that again. No. Say it emphatically. No. No, no emphatically means really loud. Can you do math with mixed numbers? No.